So today, once again, we are making a dish using the humble zucchini, which is also known as a courgette, or what we call it here in Spain, calabacín. And like I've told you before, the zucchini truly is one of the greatest fruits, even though we treat it like a vegetable, that is available to us. Anyways, the dish we are making is Spanish stuffed zucchini with cheese. This dish hails from the region of Asturias in northern Spain, where they're known for their lush green landscape and their beautiful bagpipe music. And let me tell you, these stuffed zucchinis have so many incredible flavors to them. They're very easy to make, and it all comes together pretty quickly. Now, the cheese I'm going to use to stuff into these zucchinis is some fresh goat cheese and manchego cheese. That's what's typically used. However, you can use whatever cheese you have on hand as the start of the dish is that beautiful zucchini. Let's begin by grabbing two zucchinis, rinsing them under some cold running water, and then patting them completely dry. Once the zucchinis are ready to go, let's start cutting them up. I like to cut off a little bit from each end, and then cut it in half lengthwise. Now using a spoon, I'm going to start removing the pulp from the zucchini. You want to leave a border on each end that's about half an inch thick, which is about one and a quarter centimeters. This is pretty important. That when we add our stuffing into our zucchinis and then into the oven, those borders are going to ensure that all the ingredients stay inside of the zucchini and they don't ooze out. And you want to reserve the pulp from the zucchini as we're also going to be using it in this recipe. Once the pieces of zucchini have been cored, I'm going to season them with a little sea salt. And we're going to place the slices of zucchini skin side up over a wire rack with some paper towels underneath and let them sit here between 20 to 30 minutes. This is the most important step in this recipe. That salt is going to help release any of the excess water in the zucchini. That way when we cook it, it doesn't get soggy and it keeps its beautiful firm texture. While the zucchini is resting, let's start making our filling. I'm going to grab a fry pan, heat it with a medium heat, and add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is about 30 milliliters. After heating the olive oil for two minutes on a medium heat, I'm going to add in half of an onion that I finely diced, and three cloves of garlic that I roughly minced and start mixing the garlic and the onion around with that olive oil. I always like to mix this continuously, that way the ingredients don't burn and they all evenly saute. After about three minutes and the onion is nice and translucent, I'm gonna add in the pulp of zucchini that we have reserved. Now before you add it into the pan, make sure you add it into a fine sieve and with a spoon, push down on the pulp to remove any of the excess water. And we're going to continue to mix these vegetables around with that olive oil. We're going to go for another six to eight minutes here or until that pulp of zucchini is nice and translucent and lightly sauteed. After about eight minutes, and you can see that zucchini pulp is nice and translucent and all the vegetables lightly sauteed. I'm going to add in half a teaspoon of dry thyme. This is about half a gram. And season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give this a quick mix, that way those seasonings are evenly coating all the vegetables. Then I'm going to turn off the heat in the pan and start adding the cheese into our vegetables. First I'm going to add in some fresh goat cheese. You want to make sure you break it off into small pieces. And I'm going to add in a total of 150 grams, which is about 5 ounces. And I'm also going to add in two cups of finely shredded manchego cheese, which is 220 grams. The manchego cheese that I'm using has been aged for six months. We'll also add in two tablespoons of freshly chopped parsley, which is about eight grams. And start mixing all these ingredients together until they're well combined and you end up with a paste. Now we'll move back to our zucchinis. They've been sitting here for 30 minutes and they should be ready to go. I'm gonna remove them from the wire rack and using some paper towels, run them through the inside of the zucchinis to remove any of the excess salt and water.
for the next step, let's start stuffing our pieces of zucchini. I'm gonna grab our cheese mixture that we have reserved and start adding it into the pieces of zucchini. You wanna make sure as you're adding it in there that you're pushing down on it. That way that mixture is nice and compact. Once all the zucchinis have been stuffed, I'm gonna transfer them into a baking tray that's lined with parchment paper. And we'll top off our stuffed zucchinis with some finely grated manchego cheese. And I'm gonna add our zucchinis into a preheated oven. I've had it preheating for about 20 minutes. Bake and broil option. That's the bottom and top heat, 210 degrees Celsius, which is 410 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if your oven can't do both functions at the same time, no big deal. You just bake your zucchinis for an extra four to five minutes longer than I'm baking mine, or until that top layer has a lightly golden bake color to it and that cheese is fully melted. After about 15 minutes, these stuffed zucchinis should be ready to go. I'm gonna remove them from the oven. And we're gonna leave our stuffed zucchinis to rest at room temperature just for two to three minutes. That way that cheese mixture can really settle. Then we'll transfer some of our stuffed zucchinis into a serving dish. And we'll sprinkle them with some freshly chopped parsley. Our Spanish stuffed zucchini with cheese is done. Such a beautiful dish, easy to make, and the aromas coming out of this are mind-blowing good. Let's give them a try and see how they turned out. This truly came out looking so delicious. Here we go. Way too good. That stuffing inside with the cheeses, the herbs, and the garlic and the onions. It's an explosion of so much goodness. But the beauty of this dish is the texture of that zucchini. It's nice and firm so it holds its shape together. One of the greatest things we've ever made here on Spain on a fork. You saw this. Very easy to make. A dish from the north of Spain from Asturias. Make it at home. You're not going to believe how good it is. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Terry K. Clean, Robert Jefferson, aka the Kamakura Gardener, and Martin John Manson. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. It's thanks to you and the rest of my patrons why Spain on a Fork continues to move forward. If you're not a patron, consider becoming one. It really helps you with ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this. You'll find my patron link in the description box below and iCard above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.